Hi, in the previous lecture we've added the new new tab of our app. We enable the user to add new category, new author, and new publisher. Now with our project miss something. It's only the themes. And in this lecture we will start designing our themes option so that the user can add new themes or choose between one theme and another. So let's start. Through the all the left the previous lectures I've seen every one of this project like tabs so that you can move between one tab to another and so on. So if you need to see the data operations, you will open a tab. If you need to add a new book, you open another tab and so on. But the themes we need to design it in a, a good way, in another way. So first of all, I'm gonna add a group box. Let's add this group box in here, just like this. And I'm gonna make it like this above all of our tabs I want this group box to be shown on all of other tabs now it's not but we will fix this right now so let's take it cut and here let's resize this and let's paste our group box in here and let's resize this yeah like this so now if we moved still not shown okay it's not showing here okay Let's take this, cut, and let's add it in here, just like this. So on every tab we can see it. Okay. And then. So now on every tab we can see this group box. Okay. So now we need to make this like it was, just like this. And let's get our group box in here like this so now in every tab we can see this group box okay now we need to add the, the features of choosing between one theme to another in this group box so now let's right click on this group box change style sheet and let's change the background the color of this style sheet so that we can know that our group box or not so I'm gonna choose this color yeah just like this let's save this let's run our code now if we in tab 1 we can see it tab 2 we can tab 3 and so on Good. let's remove this title yeah let's leave this thing let's save this and now we need to enable the user to choose another scene so we're gonna get a, a new label here and we're gonna say choose your or we're gonna say apply new theme yeah something like this yeah and we're gonna get some push buttons we will give the user four themes Yeah, just like this. Both are our themes. Okay, let's save this. And from our view, let's set get our property editor and we need to change the font of this label to Sage UI. Yeah, like this and let's make it more bigger. Yeah. Let's now we've added the new way for our theme now everything is working fine but we need i think everything is working fine right now we have a tab for for day-to-day -day operations we have another tab 
for treating with books, adding, editing, or deleting. We have another tab for treating with the user, adding, editing. And we have another tab for adding a new category, author and the publisher. And we have another way for adding new themes to our project. We just need to start designing our database and we need to connect our, our UI to our Python code. First of all, let's start by connecting this UI to our Python code and then we will start by designing a database, connecting it to the database and enabling the user to treat with all of these UIs in the database. And we will do this in the next lecture. See you in the next lecture.